Hey, Kamala, I'm back again. It's me, you know, T from the Pattersons taking a train to Tibet. Hey, look, I haven't given up on you. Hey, a lot of people, you know, since you didn't, that, that whole bump thing didn't happen, that didn't happen. I tried to talk to Joe. I mean, you know, or Joey B, whatever. You know, I don't know what he's calling the name either. The ducking, the guy that's good. Look, the guy, you know, your guy. You, that you, you're you running mate, okay? And, uh, you know, I don't know if he's taking my... I'll try to go over some of the points I had said to him, but I have to do that later because it's sort of kind of bad news. I'm trying to, you know, pump you up, okay? Okay, look, first of all, hey, look, I got some nice juice here. Seven fruits. Hey, you know, you're supposed to have, you know... you. You got a lot of a lot of different realities, so you should have a lot of you know, you know, it's like this, this. This might be your juice, you know, it's organic and stuff like that. You know, you had a whole bunch of realities, you went through a bunch of changes and stuff like that. Hey, it's quite good. I like it. Mm. And you would like it too. That means a whole bunch of people would like you because you like it. It's an association. Of, okay, look. It's difficult, you know. I just, this, I, now I told you before you made all those appointments and stuff like that, and you know you had all them black folks had their hopes up high. Let me let me clean my glasses because I can't see it very well. They were all, up, you know, the, you know, you know, the black women's, you know, the, you know. I guess you still got your sorority sisters. They, you know, they, they, but they teach. Did they teach you how to be black? Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to that. I heard you went to one of them, like, exclusive bar. We, we, we went over that before. You and Mario, you know, one of my favorite places, you know. Uh, and you went to exclusive school. But here's the thing. One time I was with this white girl. I mean, like that. I mean, you know, it was, we was talking, right? right? And she said something very interesting. This is a long time ago, so things could have changed. She said, you know, the only class of people that's not taught how to fight is, like, middle-class white women. I said, really? I had to think about it. Of course, in my neighborhood, <laughs> ho, ho, he, 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 he. I think about it. I said, hey, she might be correct. But that was a while ago. Since then, I did they do all that, you know, the, 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 you know, not the kung fu. What's that? The, you know, the stuff that y'all do, you know. But, but what I'm asking is when you went to that old girls school, did y'all be fighting? Did y'all learn how to fight? You know, you doing the Thai bow and all that stuff? No, you didn't. Okay. Just checking, man. I'm just checking. Because I'm trying to get you some black boat feet somehow, you know. Because it, you know what I also saw? Just a second, I can't just more. Mm. Seven, seven who? Seven super fruits. Not fat. Okay, let, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. See, because um, so they they had. I'm just curious by why Joe Chu chose you. Because I thought sure it was going to be Susan Rice because she had the near, near calm bona fides and stuff like that. And of course, you know, he would have did better if he was doing a woman of color, if he would have did, you know, Tulsi, because Tulsi, in fact, she next to you, Tulsi, about your same skin complexion, you know, so she could say she's black. In fact, I hear that back in the Hawaiian days, you know, I mean, the first first Hawaiian people, you know, at least the king and stuff like they were black, so... And he should have, no, I guess he wouldn't. And plus, she would have stood up to the military. Hmm. He needs that because he's 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 all militaryed out. I mean, because when you never when you never served, you know what I mean? Then you know you get this little uh, notion, whatever have you. Anyway, so so we can't go that. Then then you so, and you can't you really don't have black men in your in your corner. I know you had that Bukhari guy, whatever have you, but mm, nobody's feeling him. You know. And you would, and you wouldn't take what's the catch? Your your guy, your guy, do 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 Willie Brown. You wouldn't take downtown Willie Brown's advice, see? Because if you took his, ah, there we go. Okay, look, hey, look, let, let's. Okay, I'm gonna give you the bad news tonight. Then I then I got then I got then then I can see how well I can't help you, but you can help me. Okay, because you know I'm I'm like you know a boomer class. You know what I mean? And people down on boomers too because we ain't let nobody anything. In fact, the boomers, the the boomers got to do some at least for ADO. ADUS, you know, they got to do something with ADUS because, you know, they ain't leaving, they ain't leaving no legacy for their, for their kids and stuff like that. The only way that black people can get legacy is if they go through ADOS. You know, and I think people are sort of, sort of kind of spinning and realizing that. I'm not talking about, okay, I'm not going to go into that right now. But look, here's the thing. Okay, I'm going to give you the bad news that I gave, I gave your boy, you know, I mean, your running mate. White women are not going to let you be president of the United States. 
Don't look. She they ain't gonna do it. Did I tell you this before? Well, let me let me sink it in again. White women. First of all, you have to remember it's white people that got Donald Trump elected. A lot of white women got him elected. You understand? Now, what does that mean for you? Well, it basically means that it's their problem, and they got to fix it. But then, if you depend on the white women to fix it, now you was you went to school with all them white women. I mean, it's really white women, Canadians, white women as you can get. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're close to the queen and stuff like that. That's the source. And the white women that come here, they come from this queen too. Anyway, my point is, then white women are not going to let you be president before their man be president. Don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? And I, okay. Oh boy, I should have wouldn't do this. I'm gonna, I'm a, okay. I'm gonna come clean. That just yesterday, I went to a, a local meeting of Republicans. Now I wasn't spying enough like that. I was generally clear. But plus, I don't vote in this area anyway. You know, I don't, I don't vote in this area. You know, so, so I wouldn't. In fact, I saw this black guy that was running. He's a, he, he's a, you know, Republican. He's running like for these are low level kind of things. You know, that there, there's some wacko that's running for Congress against against uh, uh, uh against uh, you know, the, the sister B Clay and you know, uh, you know, Cory Bush. He ain't gonna win. I mean, he ain't even got a chance. Cause that boy just he, he nuts. Anyway, but you know. Um, what I realized, there were certain things that happened, like, for instance, and it says it dawned on me, right? You know, the lawn signs, you know, for local people, they can't put them out to, like, 30 days before the election, okay? But the, the other signs, you know, the um, you know the presidential stuff, like, they had the Biden-Harris thing, Biden-Harris versus Trump-Pence. Think about it. Biden-Harris-Trump-Pence. Get that? To, 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 get, to get get the knockout punch. And so sometimes, and like, you look stupid when you try to do stuff like, you know, fight and stuff like that. Plus, you got that little, it's like a little laugh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's I'm trying, I'm trying to help you again. You, you know, okay, let me tell you, back in the day, I'm talking about when, 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 um, what's his name? Um, uh, Howard Stern and Robin Quivers was in Philadelphia. I, I first noticed she has this laugh, but it's a nervous laugh. But she turned that nervous laugh into a thing. Your nervous laugh remains a nervous laugh. You know what I'm saying? That's not good. It's not a punch, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, Trump Pence versus Biden Harris. Mm, you see? And then when you get that little laugh, it's, it's like the Hillary cackle. You know what I mean? People didn't like that Hillary cackle, especially when she killed the, she killed the, 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 the uh, Gaddafi. She cackled. Mm. It's bad, so you gotta get rid of that laugh. I'm just telling you right now. That little nervous laugh. I know you're nervous. Look here. I'm just reading this book. Breathe, okay? So you gotta breathe. Learn how to breathe. It's a good book. You see the guy, Tom Smith? You should get this book and learn how to breathe. You're going to need it like that, you know? I'm not gonna tell you my next book. See, I just got it in the mail. Because I'm finishing up. Well, actually, the book's called Breath. I say breathe only because. That's how you do it. Black people, they can destroy the language because it ain't our language anyway. Richard Pryor told us that when they tried to get Michael Spencer. He said, Michael Spencer, he don't talk right. He said, it's not just his job is not to talk. It's beat people up. So it's called breath. I'm sorry. But I say breathe. I don't know. I just like the word breathe better. But this is my next book. See, mail to me. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, I should tell you what it is. No, because you, 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 you Democrats, you don't do it. It's, it's no, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Just got to tune in and you'll see. Back to the point. So my point is, you can put the lawn signs up like 30 days ahead, but you know, and, but, and, and, the, and the other Biden, Trump, you know, the other lawn signs can go up. But you know what Trump has that y'all don't have? And if you do it, you're going to look stupid. He got flags. Because a lot of these places in these, you know, swing states and middle, middle America, whatever, whatever, they have flagpoles. And people have Trump flags up. There ain't no Biden flags. <laughs> and just says Trump too. They don't even say Pence. Just says Trump. It's just Trump flags. And if they, and if and if, and, if, 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 and I don't think Pence is going to do much, much whatever. If you get in a debate with him, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna giggle. I mean, I giggle. You're gonna have that little nervous laugh, or whatever. You think it's a cute laugh. You're gonna have that laugh. I don't know what he's gonna do to you, but you know, well, they, Trump is gonna be fighting by alone. He ain't gonna have no surrogates and stuff like that. Did his troops on the ground? They have the flags. <laughs> So, and the white women ain't gonna let you do this. I'm telling you. I was at one of their meetings. 
They not into this. I'm telling you. Okay. What was I going to tell you? So one more tiny thing. No, not one more tiny thing. And remember, people like me, you know, we got the we got the writing. You know, we, we got the, the ballot, you know, like that. And then all the ballot. Let me, let me show you. Let me show you what I mean, right? Like, like say, for instance, like this is a the mark for the, like they, they'll, they'll have like a dem, a repub, a lib, you know, dem, repub, lib, and, you know, like like that. The, the other things. I think there's also a constitutional party. Right? But then they have write-in. And people like me, we we voting down ballot. You know what I mean? Well, one is up top. You know, like Donald J. Trump, whatever have you, or whatever the 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 the, the Lib Party, the Constitutional Party, the Green Party. We ain't vote for them. Nah, this is right in. Guess what we're gonna write into. Okay, this is a really good one. Going to write in www.ados101.com. And then some places, I'm some places I'm gonna write in www.producejustice.com. You should look up Produce Justice and find out what it is. Because if you went to Produce Justice, if you did the justice thing, hey, because we, we're about just changing this whole system, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, back to the point. So since you ain't going to make it, I got another request. Wait a second. Are you going to still be uh, the, the senator from California? California state, right? Are you still going to be the senator from this state? The reason why I'm asking is because, you know, um, as, as you know my name, you know, T from the past, take the train, the train, the train, the best. I'm an Amtrak kind of person. See? See the Amtrak? I'm an Amtrak kind of person. And so what I'm trying to say is that, you know, Congress funds Amtrak. Hey, man. I mean, hey, hey woman. <laughs> you, come on now. Give Amtrak some money. Because that's the way I travel. Plane travel. Ah. Yeah, pl- see, I'm. I'm old as I can take time, you know what I mean? I love train travel. I don't even do the sleeper cars. With this COVID, you know, that kind of thing, then you can have a whole seat to yourself because they got to do social distancing and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So it's cool. And I don't have to be in those. I don't know if they, they clean that up, but you used to have the cars when you sleep, the sleeper car, you used to have a, had a, had a latrine. We call it latrine because the military actually, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran, remember? Anyway, the point is, you know, they have that smell, that, 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 that smell that is all over the sleeper cars. Eh. And plus it's too much hassle. Anyway, so look, that's it. I'm going to be short right now. I just, you know, but I just thought I'd do the bad, bad news. But, but the good news for me would be like that. Okay. The people know Thomas Frank. But a better book, you, y'all should, you, you, I'm going to tell you also why the public's going to win. Greg Palace, my man. I, I know Greg Palace. Yeah, I used to record him all the time. You know, I've been to his house in Long Island. You know, but he was, well, I don't know, he still had it there. I don't know. Yeah. I know Greg Palace. You know, the fedora hat guy, you know. Yeah, Greg knows me. Ask him about me. He'll, he'll tell you about me. He got a new book out. I think it's How Trump, How Trump Stole 2020 or something like that. It's brand new. And can tell you all the tricks the Republicans are going to do. So... Sorry to deliver the bad news. Not my fault. You take care. Hey, remember, Senator Amtrak, come on.